Matt, disappointing afternoon. Obviously, the, the main topic of conversation will be the third minute for sending, sending off. I probably haven't had a chance to look at it yet. What was your view at the time? Uh, I didn't think it was a red. Um, yeah, um, um, first minute of the game, I think it's a nasty tackle on Will Randall. He gives a yellow card and you go, OK, maybe see that. I probably agree with that. It was, it would, it, I've maybe seen the referee give a red, not that I'm necessarily saying it, it was uh, on Will. Uh, but he goes and gives a yellow on quite a nasty tackle. And then uh, literally a minute or two later, um, Omar's competing for a ball, just a, a, a drop down. Um, and his foot is high, as in he's stretching, he's trying to nick the ball, uh, from what I, what I remember. And uh, I'm not saying he hasn't caught him, but it's not reckless, it's not aggressive, it's not out of control. Uh, so for me, it's a yellow to match the one that happened two minutes earlier and we get on with the game and it's, it's really disappointing because uh, they're a good side with some really good players. This is a great place to come and play football. Big crowd, really looking forward to the game. Do all your homework, do all your organisation and that goes straight out the window with, for me, a, a wrong decision after three minutes of the game. So after that's happened, what, what's the initial reaction on the, on, to, to tell the players on the pitch? What, what can you do in that situation? Oh, obviously try and be resilient, try and be tight. And I think I thought we did for last spells, disappointed with a goal and then okay you get into half half time one nil, no problem. Um, in terms of tweaking a few things and getting the real information into the players. Um, and then yeah, just waiting for your opportunity, trying to be on the counter attack, or even get into the latter stages of the game, still at one nil to maybe have a little bit of a go. Um, it's not a foul for me down here again uh, for the second goal. It's not a foul from Donovan. But we should deal with the cross a bit better. We should deal with a free kick better. And we suddenly find ourselves two 0 down. It's a long afternoon. And when the second goal went in, I noticed substitutions, a brief change of formation to try and get try and get back into it. But it was yeah. only about five minutes before they scored again. Yeah, exactly. And then it's, it's game over, and uh, you dust yourselves down. You, you're not going to get anything out today. It's been frustrating. It is really frustrating. Um, but. It's nothing really, you know, a referee's decision early on that has gone against us. Um, I feel certainly affected the game today. First half performance, just, just touch on that. It must have been overall well, well pleased with it. Just, just the one goal conceded, but it made it as difficult for stop calls as yeah. Walsall did for us yeah, last week. Just, just once where we got centre half got pulled out of shape and then the ball comes in and he's not in the box. So they're disappointed with that. Um, but other than that, yeah. And then so the second goal, and Jim, you made some changes. What, obviously, thinking to get back into the game, but it was sort of change of formation and personnel. Yeah, just to get a bit of fresh legs in there, just a little bit of personnel change, similar to what we did uh, at a game last season away from home, got a bit of joy. Um, but no, no, this, the second goal was a poor knock dealing with a free kick and we find ourselves out of it. And, and the third goal did come overloaded when we went three at the back, so we overloaded a little bit where the, where the left, where there would have been a left back. Well, it comes from our throw, it comes from our throw here that slips and falls inside and then they put it down the side of us. So it comes from our throw on there, I don't think it got off the floor. You made a couple of changes after that, yeah. obviously the, though the game had gone, trying to trying to get back into it and yeah. kept, kept going to the end. You can't, can't push them close. Oh, yeah, exactly. The it's, a, you go, it's a difficult one. This, this is a, this, I've got a top, top, uh, top manager, I really like the manager, got some top players. Uh, this is a progressive club, it's, I think it's the, the summer's pre-season favourites to go with the league. Uh, with the signings they've made um, and the way they won the National League last year, um, they're certainly expected to be there or thereabouts. And in today's evidence, you, you can see why. Um, but um, you come here, you know, it's, it's, it's tough enough anyway, let alone uh, going down to 10 minutes after three minutes. Please, please to get Craig Eastman and Lewis, Lewis Young back in the back in the lineup today, go um, after, after their injuries, and they've hopefully come through with no, yeah. no problems. Yeah, I believe, I believe both are okay, yeah. So a week off now, looking looking at the FA Cup next Saturday, ch chance to recover recover from this afternoon, put it down just as, as one of those, you know, those afternoons. I think there's not much you can do, is there, yeah. when that happens in the first place? Exactly, place. Yeah, we draw a line under it, uh, we'll move on. Um, next week, FA Cup against Farnborough, big big game, um, they're going to be well supported, need to get loads of Sutton supporters down into the, gra into the ground as yeah. well, and uh, looking forward to, to hopefully making it starting an FA Cup run. Definitely, yeah, really looking forward to next week's game. Uh, Localish a game for, for both clubs. The first round of the FA Cup is uh, always important, and uh, we want, yeah, want as many supporters from us uh, in there as possible. Thanks for coming out. That was a difficult one this afternoon, and thanks for that. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.